Okay, the next one, number three, the perimeter of a square is one fifth of a meter. Find the length of each side in meters. Draw a picture to support your response. What shape did it say, say that we were measuring? So draw a square. Now, we know that perimeter is what? Length? Huh? Perimeter? I'm sorry, perimeter? Perimeter is not times anything. Exactly. Perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. You just add all the sides together. So it says the perimeter equals what? Um, one fifth. One fifth. <clears throat> How many sides does a square have? Four. Four. And it wants to know what each side is, right? Yeah. So what do we need to divide that one fifth by? One fifth. Four. <clears throat> we need to do one fifth divided by four. Okay, now if I were to draw my tape diagram, what is this whole tape diagram worth? One. One, because the fraction came first. And according to our denominator, we need to split it into how many pieces? Five. Five. Now, I need to, I'm saying that each of these pieces is worth what? One fifth. One fifth. And if we were to add all of them up, one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth equals five fifths, which equals one whole. How many do I need to shade in? One, one fifth. So just shade in one of them. So now, from here, I need to divide this how many times? Four. four. So how many, um, I should have four boxes going across. Or going up and down now. Sorry, that was a terrible way for me to say that. <clears throat> Does it want to know about all four sides or just one of those sides? One of them. So what is one of those sides worth? What's what? One twentieth. <clears throat> Let's check. We need to keep what? Keep one fifth. Switch to and flip our fraction from what? Four over one to what? One over four. One times one is? Five times four is, were we correct? Yes. Okay. So each side of that um, square is going to be 1 20th. <clears throat> well, this one is 1 20th meters. <clears throat> Right? That says meters. Everybody with me? Okay. B says, how long is each side in centimeters? Well, we need to know how many centimeters are in what? Meter. Okay. So, how many centimeters are in a meter? Do we remember? Here. Oh, wait. No. Is it right there? Okay. How many centimeters are in a meter? <clears throat> Junior, go point to the board where it says how many centimeters are in a meter.
One meter, yep, equals 100 centimeters. He's right. Uh, so, back on here, we know one meter equals 100 what? Centimeters. Well, how many meters do we have? 1 20th. We have 1 20th meters equals blank centimeters. <clears throat> Does anybody know what we're going to do to find out how many centimeters, Trayvon? Ding, ding. He got it. <clears throat> You're going to take 1 20th and multiply times 100. One times 100 is? 100. One times, one times 100 is 100. Anything times one is what? Itself. So one times 100 is 100. Then we know below that 100 is divided by what? Yeah. 1. So 20 times 1 is 20. So we now have 100 over 20. Or 100 what? 100 divided by 20. <clears throat> if you took a zero off of both of those, what is 10 divided by 2? Five, so we put a zero back on. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it is five centimeters. Okay. <clears throat> Everybody there? Okay, let's keep going. A pallet holding five identical crates weighs one fourth of a ton. How many tons does each crate weigh? Well, we have a pallet holding five identical crates. So how many crates do we have? Five. We have five. Now, do not get confused on this one. It says they weigh one fourth, each crate weighs one fourth of a town. Of, I'm sorry, not each crate weighs one fourth. The five identical crates weigh one fourth. So all five together weigh how much? One fourth. Okay. So right now we're starting with one fourth ton. And it wants to know how much each crate weighs, right? How many do we have? We have five. So what do we need to do? One fourth divided by five. Draw your picture and answer your question. Draw your picture and answer your question. Gonna give everybody a chance.
Okay. Nevaeh, what did we get? One over 20. Do we agree? Yes. Good. Okay, now let's check. Since the fraction came first, that whole tape diagram is worth what? One. one. The whole tape diagram's worth one. How many boxes did I need to start by splitting this into? Four. <clears throat> and each of those boxes is worth what fraction? One fourth. And I need to shade in how many? One fourth. Not one whole. If I shade in one whole, I'd shade in the whole thing. Okay, now from here, I need to divide these into how many pieces? Five. Okay, and I just want to know about all of them or just one of those? Just one of them. I want to know how much each crate is worth. Here's one crate, here's another crate, here's another crate, another crate, and another crate. So how much is that one crate worth? One twentieth. Now let's check. Keep. Keep. Okay, keep what? One fourth. Switch to and flip. Two, what? Yep. <clears throat> one times one is? Four times five is? Twenty. Very good. So we were correct. <clears throat> now, you need this page, so keep it to the side. Because this next one, letter B, says, how many pounds does each crate weigh? Well, it gave it to us in what? On number 4A. Tons. So I need to know how many t pounds are in a ton, right? So, one ton equals blank pounds. One ton equals blank pounds. Let's look. Thank you so much for raising your hand. Let's look. Blessing, one ton equals how many pounds? 2,000 pounds. We talked about this yesterday, correct? Shout out again, and you know what's going to happen. Okay, so yes, one ton equals 2,000 pounds. So how many tons do we have? No, how many tons do we have according to this? According to 4A? We have 120th. Now, like the other one, what do I need to do to this one to find out how much? I need to do what, Trayvon? Multiply, Multiply what? 120 yes, 120th times 2,000. So, 120th times 2,000. And we know 2,000 is really 2,000 over what? One. So, one times 2,000 is? 2,000. 20 times 1 is 20. Can I take out at least a multiple of 10? So mark out one zero from each of them. So now I have 200 divided by 2, which is 100. So how much is 1 20th ton? 100 what? Pounds. Okay, number five. Faye has five pieces of ribbon, each one yard long. She cuts each ribbon into six. Six. It's hard to say. How many six will she have after cutting all the ribbons? Well, how many ribbons 
Um, does she have? Or don't get confused. She does. Okay, how many total yards does she have? She has one total yard of ribbon. Okay, so she's starting with one yard of ribbon. I want you to write that. She's starting with that one yard. Now, she wants to take that one yard and she cuts it into what? She cuts it into what? Six. six. She cuts each ribbon into six. So, our fraction for six is what? One sixth, one over six. Okay, now from here, you have one divided by one sixth. I want you to finish. Now, don't get confused on this one because she says she has five pieces of those one yards. So, right now, you're finding out how much one one-sixth would be. Harrison, have you done this? Okay, let's look at it. One divided by one sixth equals what? What did we get? We got what? Six. six. You should have gotten six. Because one is the same thing as what? One is the same thing as what? One over one over one. So this is really saying one over one times what? No. Switch and flip. Six over one. One times six is six, and one times one is. So really, right now, this one piece is how much? Six. Now, it says she has five pieces. So what should I do with this six and this five? Six times five, which is what? What? 30. <clears throat> so how many sixths will she have after cutting all the ribbons? She'll have 30. She'll have 30 sixths. She'll have 30 sixths. Because that's all of them. Right here, we just found one of them. We only found one yard of them, which is only one of those five pieces. Does everybody see that? Yes, now, we keep going. It says, how long will each of the sixth be in inches? Well, it gives it to us in what? Yards. Now, now it wants it in what? Inches. Inches. So we've got to convert not once, but how many times? Twice. Because yards goes to what first? Feet. And then feet goes to inches. Well, how many feet are there in yards? Three feet 
equals one yard. Stop. Now, how many inches are there in one foot? 12 inches equals one foot. Well, how many yards did we have? We have one sixth of a yard. And we want to know how many, what did it say? Inches it is. Well, how many inches are in three feet? Not 12. 12 inches are in one foot. So how many inches are in three feet? Nisha? 36. You did 12 times what? Three, which is 36. So I'm going to take one sixth and do what? Multiply by <clears throat> what? Multiply by 36. One times 36 is 36. 36. Six times one is? How many times is 36 divided by six? Six. So how many inches? Six inches. Basic facts, guys. Six times six is 36. So they are six inches long. I'm seeing people play with pencils and their fingers and other stuff and hope you're really paying attention. You will have word problems like this on your test. And remember boys and girls, Friday is my last day. So will I be here to review with you? I sure won't. So I hope you're paying attention now. <clears throat> okay, flip it over. A glass pitcher is filled with water. One eighth of the water is poured equally into two glasses. How many pitchers do we have? No. How many pitchers of water do we have? We don't. I want you to go back and read the question again. So how many pitchers of water do we have? Go back and read the question again. If you're shouting too, you don't know what you're talking about. How many pitchers of water do we have? A glass pitcher. A glass pitcher. Does pitcher have an S on the end of it? Mm -mm. So it's singular. So how many pitchers do we have? One. We have one. One pitcher. That's it. We've got one pitcher of water. Now, with that one pitcher of water, it says one eighth of it is poured into how many glasses? A glass and a pitcher are two different things. One of them is big, one of them is small. So now, how many glasses do we have? Two. We have two. And in each of those two glasses, how much was poured into it? One eighth. One eighth. Okay, so we're all on the same page now. What fraction was poured, what fraction of water is in each glass? Well, it says one eighth of water is poured equally into two glasses. I'm sorry. So we have one eighth being divided between how many glasses? Two. two. We have one eighth worth of water being divided in between two glasses. A glass for me and a glass for you.
and we both want the same amount because we're just as thirsty. So go ahead and draw your picture, check it, and we're gonna come back together and check. You should have a picture and a check. Okay, what did we get, Blessing? One sixteenth, do we agree? Yes. Good, let's go back and check. My whole tape diagram is worth what? One. One. Now, according to our denominator, I need to divide this box how many times? Eight. Eight. Okay. Now, I need to divide. Well, we agree that these are all what? One eight. One eight. And I need to shade in how many? One. Just one eighth of them. Now I need to take that and divide it in two. So just divide it in half. Here's one glass, here's the other glass. So we should have one sixteenth is what she said. One of them is shaded in out of how many total boxes? 16. So let's come down here and check. One eighth, we keep. Switch to and flip our fraction to one over two. One times one is one. Eight times two is? Yep, we were right. Okay, number or letter B. If each glass has three fluid ounces of water in it, how many fluid ounces of water were in the full pitcher? Well, we are given, it actually doesn't give us a unit up here. On this one, it's saying if each glass has three ounces. So this glass has three ounces and this glass has three ounces. How many fluid ounces of water were in the full pitcher? Well, this is worth three. This is worth three. If we keep going, this one's worth three, and this one's worth three. Three, 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 three. What is three plus three? Six. six. So this one square right here is worth six, right? Mm -hmm. This is worth six. Six times one, two, how many times did I write six? Eight. So six times eight is 48. So how much was in the whole thing? 48. Does everybody see how I got that? Yep. If you added up all those threes, you would have gotten 48. Or you could have just said three. How many times did you write three? Well, you wrote it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you would, could have done three times what? 16. 16. Either one of those would work. 
would have gotten you to the same answer, which is 48. Okay? If one-fourth of the remaining water is poured out of the pitcher to water a plant, how many cups of water are left in the pitcher? Lord have mercy, we're skipping this one. We're skipping it. We're skipping it. Okay, you are looking at your exit ticket. You are looking at your exit ticket.